In this video, we will demonstrate how to install our Click Profile system. GTO Aluminum specializes in environmentally sustainable cladding and wall sidings for both interior and exterior designs. Made from 100% aluminum, these profiles provide quick and easy installation solutions, saving on time and labor. To begin the installation, first identify and mark the location of the wall studs using a stud finder. Then use a level to mark all the stud lines along the wall. Next, use a level to mark the rail's position, making sure to not have more than 36 inches of spacing between the rails. Next, use a measuring tape to measure the wall height and width and write it down. For vertical installation, the rail acts as the width, and for horizontal installation, the rail acts as the height. Always measure both ends of the wall to ensure the wall is straight. If the wall is not straight, make sure to apply the difference when cutting the profiles. Depending on whether installation is done vertically or horizontally, mark the cutting point on the angles, rails, click profiles, and if applicable, the U profiles, according to your measurements. Then use a compound miter saw with aluminum blade to cut all materials to size. It is important to know, before cutting the rails, drill a small pilot hole two teeth above and below your marked cutting point. Then drill flathead screws through the back to secure the rail for cutting. Next, using a power drill and measuring tape, drill small pilot holes through the angles and rails for mounting. If installation is done vertically, drill the holes for the rails according to the stud spacing measurements and drill the holes for the angles at 18 inches apart. If the installation is done horizontally, drill both the rails and angles at 18 inches apart. Next, using a level, line up the angles along the wall and secure. Now using a level, line up the first rail to the wall and secure it with screws. After the first rail is secured, click in a profile onto both rails. Then position the next rail onto the wall and align the teeth using a level. Once the rail is leveled, you can secure the rail to the wall with screws. Continue with this step for all the remaining rails. Begin clicking. Press and click in each end of the profile directly onto the rail's teeth. Make sure the profiles are at least one rail teeth apart. Continuously click the profiles until the wall is fully covered. For the wall finish, we were left with an odd size gap. In this case, we used a smaller size profile, the click 20 for the finish. Please visit our site for all troubleshooting options such as this. To release the profile, simply press and pull the profile away from the teeth until it clicks off the rail. If using the U profile, first apply silicon directly onto the teeth in between the profiles. Then firmly press the U profile into the gaps. If not using the U profile, it is recommended to paint the back wall black for better aesthetics. Take a look at that clean, sleek wall finish. Final step, take pictures of that beautiful design and share on social media. Tag us on Instagram, at GTO Aluminum USA. Thank you for watching our how-to video. For more information, please visit our website at www.gtoaluminum.com and be sure to follow our social media pages for updates. GTO Aluminum, think outside the wall.